Anyways, anyways, <laughs> anyways, okay. First topic, okay? Usman will go to That's the middle. That's the intro, that's it? Well, yeah, man. Look, can we start? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Intro done, okay? First clip starts now. Usman will go to middleweight only if Izzy stays at light heavyweight. Yeah. Light heavyweight? Oh, oh, if he stays, yeah, yeah. If he, he doesn't go back down. Welterweight, right? Yeah. I think, I think Usman, I want him to go to middleweight. Um, and as soon as possible, before before he gets even more injuries and stuff like that. And I remember we, we brought it up last time. Maybe him weight cutting and having to be at like a lower weight is also a contributor on why he gets injured a lot more. Um, he he's really good at cutting weight because you he has like that Goku. Rest. You have to eat well, train well, and sleep well. You know, and if, if you he's don't not, eat enough, he is black Goku. Goku black. Goku black, bro. So um, I may, may maybe um, that will help him out. Uh, he doesn't have to worry about weight cutting. He can stay a little bit heavier, a little bit more stronger. Because when he comes into the, the, the octagon, he's so lean, right? He's, he's super lean. Uh, maybe that's why um, he has all these knee injuries and he has all these back injuries. It's because he puts so much stress on his body. So what's the walk around weight, though, you think? Probably like 200. around 200, yeah. Big guy, bro. A little, a little, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's a big he's guy. He's 5'10", isn't he? Or yeah, he's, he's, I think he's just under six. Yeah. So like me, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're. <laughs> what do you mean? What six? <laughs> you're, you're, what? That's the bro. Usman is like here. You're the. Anyways, um, I think he would do really good uh, in middleweight, um, because of his wrestling base. Guys, I think will be a lot. Will have a lot more success taking him down though. Uh, maybe uh, if he ever gets taken down, I think he's more likely to get taken down 185 than at um, at 170 because. Uh, if you want to go through guys that are 185 that are actually cutting a lot of weight, Let's go through um, that. Uh, 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 give me some examples. Costa. Costa, but he Costa. doesn't really take you down. Mr. Uh, Soldier of God, Yoel Romero. Oh, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> he's not, he's not he's in the not. UFC, unfortunately. Uh, it was him, actually. He actually... Why? He, what did I do? He reported him for, for, uh, <laughs> for steroid uh, No, his contract finished, and he, he left. Give me date. <laughs> <laughs> Sign the paper, boy. <laughs> Um, so, uh, there's, there's a lot of, I can't think of any uh, right Gaslam. now. Gaslam is more of a Big 70 guy. that went to 185 because he couldn't, he didn't like cutting weight. <laughs> yeah, bro. I could tell he doesn't yeah. like, <laughs> like cutting weight. Um, so there's going to be guys that are bigger uh, and cutting down to 185 that he's going to have to, uh, he's going to have to grapple with. We can, we can look at the, the, the rankings at 185. Um, you have guys like really Whitaker. Whitaker, Whitaker is again a guy that went from seventy to one to eighty-five. Yeah. Um, so we've seen that guys that went from seventy to uh, one eighty-five have have success. So you have Kevin Gaslam, you have Robert Whitaker, uh, you have um, Darren Till, right? Darren Till. D Darren Till. Darren Till. <laughs> Darren Till. So you you ha there's there's um, proven there's proof that like there's success when he goes up. Now does he win the championship? He doesn't want, want, want to fight um, uh, Israel Adesanya because they're both of Nigerian heritage and. How about Cannoneer too? He's he's fighting he's fighting Whitaker, isn't he? Um, no, uh, Whitaker Whitaker beat him already. Yeah, I know, but like Whitaker like wants to fight, but like he's not fighting Izzy, remember? Like what Dana said. No, you you forget the whole story, the the whole saga like we talked ago, about. Man. It that was like four months ago. No, Dana interpreted what um what Robert Whitaker was saying about um. <laughs> so Robert Whitaker was talking about he doesn't want to fight Izzy, or, or he was talking about in the context of um, fighting Izzy is not the the most appealing thing for him to do from a fighting standpoint. Yeah from like uh, competing against him because it's, it's not a fun matchup it's it's difficult he already got knocked out by him um that, i think that's what uh robert Wade occurs take on it he didn't literally mean like i i am refusing to face izzy um and after after dana white came out and talked about oh um robert Wade occur is not gonna fight him it's off the table um robert Wade occur came out and kind of re uh reaffirmed that his stance where he says uh, I I don't not want to fight him. I'm just saying that if I were to fight him, it's not going to it's going to be a difficult matchup. Uh, there's a lot that I have to deal with and 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 to get over with. But I'm still f okay to fight him. So uh, Robert Whitaker versus Kamaru Usman would be su super fun. Be a fun fight. Um, but he's saying so Kamaru Usman is saying he doesn't want to face Israel Adesanya. Uh, that means Israel Adesanya would have to lead the division. I don't think 
Israel Adesanya will leave the lightweight division, light heavyweight division, um, to face Jan and stay there. I, I, I don't think. Um, you mean middleweight, you mean? Like he would leave middleweight? Sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. So leave middleweight and, and stay in the light heavyweight uh, division. Because if you... So, okay, so he's facing Jan Blahovic. Mm -hmm. He beats Jan Blahovic. He's a champion. Next step is clearly John Jones. Um, you can see uh, if he beats Jan, he's the double champion. And the UFC will push hard, hard if uh, John Jones beats um, either Stipe or, or Francis. If Long he beats shot. him and becomes a heavyweight champion, they're going to push so hard for a, a matchup against John Jones for triple champ champ. But champ, he, champ, champ. But you know, he said something wrong like a like a few weeks ago. He was saying what? that with that with Izzy, when he fights middleweight, he's he's over. He actually fights under middleweight. He's he's what do under you mean? like like when he comes into the fight, he's usually much lower than like middleweight. Uh, like the what do you mean much lower? The limit. No, he's not. Y yes, he is. Yes, he is. What's much lower? Well, let's think this way. I think at least no, not think this way. Tell me what what is much lower? Three four pounds. That's not much lower. That's a that's a lot okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. In yeah, comparison yeah, yeah. to like other fighters that that like cut weight and they get exactly at one eighty five or one eighty six. I don't want to be your friend. I, I don't want to take you. I don't want to quote you though, because uh, I don't think it's three four pounds. It is, it is. I don't. Uh, I don't think five it's three dollars. Pounds. No, man. <laughs> three four dollars. Five three four dollars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Um. So um, we could talk about Izzy uh, going to light heavyweight um, another time, because there's there's talks of him not even. Um, being close to the 205 limit um, but Izzy is in a weird situation so if he beats Jan and then he has uh, John beats um, Stipe or Francis that could be one of the biggest fights in, in MMA history because now it's for a champ 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 status plus potentially goat status well, as well let's not say one of let's say that would be the biggest. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't get the as many. You views. don't think Izzy versus John Jones wouldn't get the most views in MMA? No, it would probably be. It probably be more than uh, the first Nate and Connor. Wow, you're uh, you're underselling that fight. No, I get it. I get it. It's just that these guys they have a ceiling. Like, like they they I have a ceiling. Say that. They like, haven't like, broken see, into. So so Costa and and Izzy when they fought, they had the most interactions and. In, in the UFC history. Who cares about interactions, man? Yeah, this that, all that's impressions. Everything is important. I get bro. it, but we're talking about pay-per-views, right? Like just pay-per-views. Izzy and John Jones Sold out crowd. don't have the same penetration in in society uh, as um, Conor McGregor, for example. Conor McGregor broke the the ceiling. Used right? to, used to, whatever. He broke the ceiling, so he was able to get that two point four million dollar with with Khabib. Now with Izzy and John, I think they're going to come close to two, right? Maybe like 1.6, 1.7. I don't know if it'll be what 2.4. If they market nicely, you know, with the triple champ stuff, and they market with Izzy going all the way up and like their whole history about how like he always wants to fight Jones. And yeah, all yeah. This, yeah. this could no, be no, it like, will sell. It will sell a lot. I don't think it will be Connor and and well, and uh, thing Khabib. Cause Connor Khabib was was bigger than uh, than MMA. This is MMA. Like yeah, this is MMA. That was hatred. That was like disdain that was like uh, religion, uh, religion culture, ethnicity right. everything so that, that's something that uh, people around the world could relate to and talk to uh, talk to and and uh, yeah basically relate to as opposed to connor uh, sorry as opposed to john jones and izzy it's uh basically an mainly an mma centric matchup right it's triple champ it's greatest of all time uh he, he thinks he's better than him he thinks he's better than um the other guy right so it's more of that but connor and, and habi was just just this pure hatred for each other that everybody just wanted to see like what is going to happen so he was like a, they didn't really care if uh uh habi was going to throw a teep kick in this matchup or if, if he was going to go for a single a double leg or uh, what what his entry points were he wasn't yeah. came in the izzy versus john jones fight that's what right. the biggest attraction will be is how do these guys match up with each other yeah. who's the aggressor does john jones grapple with them does izzy uh ward off john jones at, at all right like, well, he, like here's your last question from first of all our actual topic was about Osman. but anyways uh to go back to it so here's like the last question if if izzy beats john jones yeah he'll become the goat right but if john jones were to beat izzy what does that do for 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 john jones he just puts another another like uh stamp on the resume yeah another stamp on the resume i i it's 
I don't, it's not I'm not disrespecting Israel uh, Israel Adesanya um, it's just I don't want to take away from what John Jones's resume is because if you try to if you put their both resumes together even if Israel beats Jan Blachowicz they're not the same they're, they're completely different Jan Blachowicz versus John Jones uh, I think John Jones is much more favored in that fight against Jan Blah- Blahovic than Izzy versus Jan Blahovic. But that's because he's been at light heavyweight, right? But that's what I mean. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's 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 a resume thing. Uh, it's what you have achieved. It's what you've done. Uh, Izzy has been able to... Um, Izzy has been able to to accomplish a lot in the very short career that he's had. He's only been in the UFC for four four years, five years now. Yeah. Not not very long. And he's accomplished so much, so, so much in that little time. But John Jones also is the youngest UFC... Uh, champion in history, right? Uh, I think light heavyweight champion. I'm not sure, but anyways, he was 24 years old when he beat Shogun. Um, he um, grew up. He developed his game while fighting in the UFC, as opposed to Israel Adesanya, who came really um, when he was like 28, 29, right? He he really um, came to the UFC as um, not a finished product, but he he had all his fundamentals already set. He's 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 a veteran. He's had all these fights. And then he came to MMA, as opposed to John Jones, who's who's been in it for so long that you, you forget, like, this guy's been here for over a decade. Yeah. And he's been he's had more championship f- championship fights than a- actual regular fights in his career. So so to say, like, uh, if Izzy beats John Jones, he's the GOAT, but the other way around doesn't apply for John Jones beating Izzy. Um, I, I have to say, like, John Jones, you're you're um, you're the GOAT man. Yeah, so I I don't know I don't know what was the topic? That was the Kamaru topic. Kamaru Osman actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, uh, but you know, with. Uh, but why did you why did you bring up that topic? Because it was meant for Osman and Izzy about yeah. how like they wouldn't be in the same division. But then of course. You talk so about is this Izzy. the same video? Of course. <laughs> the same video. Same video. So you wasted a topic. I didn't waste no topic. You wasted a topic. Okay.